Hey guys, it's Gero here. Welcome back to another episode of uh, this uh, series about the course I'm following uh, currently, Level Design for Games at CGMA. So uh, yeah, so thank you again for joining me on yet another week of this uh, super adventure. And uh, yeah, so let's dive right into it. So uh, this week I'm gonna talk about week five and six uh, because it was basically a two-week assignment, so we had two weeks to do a project. Uh, we were talking about open world design, so that was because uh, because of that. That's why we uh, had a two-week assignment, so we could do a little more, a little bigger environment. So uh, yeah, so um, really um, nothing really super different in terms of. Uh, in terms of lectures there but it was mainly uh, we were you know talking about transition spaces and also how to use composition to make a great view and also all our landmark are important uh, in open world design and uh, so yeah so I'll, I'll basically talk about uh, what I learned uh, this week through all of this so yeah so let's start with uh, what we needed to do with the assignment so uh, this uh, this week well this two week assignment we needed to do a level based on the theme of uh, lunar or planet type base so it needed to have like a you know some kind of a sci-fi feeling to it uh, we need to use uh, any character blueprint of our choice and uh, we also started to do some documentation so we needed to do a one pager with a word map uh, describing our idea so that was pretty challenging and interesting create more of, a, of an open world level uh, design different district slash a uh, part of the map that could uh, have distinct visual identities so you know like a, maybe there is a, a part of the map that is more uh, that is more um, I don't know like a more uh, wild you know or more uh, or more green or more red whatever you know just uh, to have like a different uh, visual identities there I'm gonna explain uh, what I choose in mine uh, also we need to concentrate more on large elements uh, have interior and exterior spaces, implement environment storytelling, make some cool landmarks and create interesting composition, as I said earlier, uh, create barriers and edge that fits the theme of your level. So this, this was something that we really talked about, just like, you know, how to block the player, but in an interesting way. Um, so I remember two things that I wanted to improve uh, that I think were... Um, that I could challenge myself into this assignment there, and it was try to guide the player visually from one space to another, and also improve my compositions. So, so yeah, so let's uh, let's bring out my uh, few ref, and I'll explain to you what I did. So here you have like all my chaos. So sometimes I screenshot things. Uh, so these were like screenshots from um, from the assignment requirements and uh, things like that. Uh, so basically my process didn't really change uh, this week for that but uh, the process of just like uh, making my more cleaner mood board change a little bit so this was just like a bunch of ideas that I had and so I just started like roughing out some stuff and I'm just like oh maybe you know it's a it, it's a sheriff and uh, there's been a murder and also I just like uh, added like a couple of uh, ideas for uh, for landmarks and so I ended up with like, oh, maybe we have like a, a village, a mine, an outpost, a farmer field, and dry land. So I started with that. So then again, um, I did uh, as I do each week. So I just refined my mood board and start asking myself, um, you know, the questions that you have seen me ask myself uh, in the previous videos. So like the who, when, uh, where, what, why, and how. And so this is my level mood board. So this is really the tone that I wanted for the, the whole level. And so what I decided was uh, that the who would be a sheriff when uh, future were on a salt mining planet, what investigating a murder in the community. Why? Well, it's your job. It's the first time and uh, the well-being of the community depends on it. And uh, how explore and find clues, investigate crime scene and talk to NPCs to gather information. So I wanted to uh, challenge myself with uh, brutalism, uh, with a bit of a salt mining planet. Like I think the the there I, I had lost some very cool references that could be really interesting visually. So after that, I did some mini mood boards for all the different areas. So this one I called the outpost, but basically uh, I changed it to the tip. So it was mostly like uh, the tip of the um, of uh, this region. So I wanted it to have like a more like military or just like a temporary um, 
installation uh, type of style with big structures and um, and little housings. Uh, another really important uh, part was the village. So uh, this would be really where the mining community would live. Uh, also the mine. The mine is basically the center of my map. So it was the most important thing that I that I add. And um, the other two things that I wanted to do, but I didn't really have time to just push it to the level I wanted, was the salted prairie. So it would be like a transition with the village to there, so uh, for more of a farmland area. And the drylands that would be like really inhospitable and uh, not interesting. And I just kind of wanted to give myself some little uh, keywords there to kind of to kind of help me just uh, narrow down what I wanted to do with that. After that, uh, we needed to do uh, some uh, some map and some uh, one pager. So I did a little sketch of a map. I'm just gonna bring it up. So I did a little rough sketch of a map uh, that I wanted to do. So this is just like me scribbling there and having ideas. So I ended up calling it Cape Alkali, and uh, I wanted it to have like a like a pointy to a pointy feeling to it. And so after that, with that, I just uh, made my uh, one pager and cleaned it up. So here we have my one pager. I think it was uh, super fun to do. I'm just gonna just scroll it down. Oh, hey, that, that's that's pretty good. All right. So here you can see that uh, just beside my face, <laughs> it's the it's just the salted prairie. But uh, yeah, so this is the uh, the one pager that I did. So we needed to do like a description, uh, some landmarks that we w that we wanted to integrate our POI, NPCs, uh, reference images, and the 2D map. So uh, yeah, so the 2D map is basically really uh, really inspired uh, by what I did uh, in Sketch. At the beginning, I thought that I could do like three crime scenes, and you know you would have like a a really intense story with that but uh at the second way i just realized that i would not have the time to do that so i ended up doing just one murder and um i will uh, talk to a bit more about the story after that so yeah so in the description i just uh, wrote a little text to uh put the uh, level in context so in the near future a sheriff is newly promoted to a mining camp on planet zeus they are investigating their first murder in the community of cape alcala the sheriff need to explore, investigate crime scenes, interview NPCs, and find clues to put an end to this tragedy and prevent another murder. So the landmarks that I thought I could integrate into uh, this um, into this level was basically like, the mine. You know, it's kind of really important. Uh, the morgue or a clinic. Uh, it ended up to be more of a clinic in the end, for uh, where you meet the doctor and uh, and stuff like that. Uh, the hermit cabin, the radio tower, the farmer's market, the sheep farm, a bar, and uh, the crime scenes. And also I thought about some NPCs that you could encounter, so the doctor, a barman, the officer, the hermit, the foreman, and the farmer. I ended up just uh, adding uh, some difference in there, but uh, you will see it in the end. So this was kind of pretty fun, just to do like a more of a, of a cute... Um, like a, a cube just like a pitch you know that I could present to the team and uh, go with that so I, I really liked uh, to do that it was uh, it was pretty fun uh, the only thing that I found was a uh, kind of pretty hard is just like finding cool English names as I'm a French speaker so this was a this was a challenge but I think I ended up uh, having a uh, fun stuff uh, so Kipal Kalai I think it's pretty cool <laughs> all right so uh, let's see what I did on the first week for the block out all right, so this is what I did on the first week of uh, this assignment, and uh, I had I think I had many great ideas, but uh, it ended up being just so big. Like I don't know if I don't even know if we can see just a person in there because it's so big. I think there is like a person here. I I can't even click on it. You know, it's just too big. I'm just gonna type NPC because I think I yeah NPC. So you can see that just the, the persons are just so small in the, uh, in all this environment. It ended up being like really painful to uh, walk in there. Oh yeah, you can see him. You can see him here. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so you can see that just like it's just too gigantic, and it ended up being super hard um, just to see the landmarks, you know, because the landmarks are very small. 
so I really changed it in the second and my second pass so in the first pass I just uh, really concentrate myself more on the mine so I have a lower level that uh, that was pretty good and I didn't change that much I just enhanced it so uh, the lower level here was uh, was a cool part of it if I can uh, just play from here we will be able to see so this was uh, this was kind of interesting this part here is good and so I kept it uh, the feeling the the skill, the feeling in the skill of the, the this area was uh, was really interesting, but the rest of the map was uh, too gigantic, too gigantic. So I I ended up being um, scoping scoping it a little down, you know. Um, also, this was the tip here, and this was the village here. Also, you had like a way to get to uh, what would be the market and the farmer. Um, the farmland here but you know it was just taking like I think it just takes like 15 minutes you know to walk from one area to another it's just like it's too big so it's not really fun to, to play so I ended up really reworking it and um, at the second week but I kept some ideas that I had that were that were great like some line of sights were really fun like when you go out of the mine and you can see a bit of a village it's pretty cool and um, but yeah, it was it was really hard to see the landmarks because the landmarks are uh, very small. So I ended up uh, changing them. Yeah. And also, I didn't have an idea when I was doing the first week. I didn't really had an idea about my story, so I kind of struggled just placing NPCs and you know finding the the kind of flow of my quest. So I wanted really to work on that on the second week to help myself. So the first thing I did on the second week was to uh, kind of work a little story there to help me. Uh, so uh, here at the, the first one here uh, would be uh, really the, the crime scene. So the first murder that happened at the mine. And the idea was just like, okay, maybe the, the, the purple stuff are um, clues or um, things that I can gather uh, to help the investigation. And uh, I classified just the... Um, the uh, the little things there uh, in different colors so every blue thing is in the village um, the uh, yellow ones are in the tip the green one would be in the farmlands and uh, the pink one would be in the drylands so the idea was that you start at the crime scene at the crime scene you can talk to the doctor and you can talk to the foreman uh, so at the foreman uh, tell you uh, that uh, somebody was assigned to the surveillance of uh, the scientist and so you, then you can talk to the worker and the worker tells you uh, that it was he was not with him this day so uh, you can go talk to the analyst because the analyst was with them um, and he also then like uh, that he has been talking a lot about how he hates his team at the bar so uh, you can uh, go talk to the barman and etc uh, etc et so you know uh, so this just really helped me uh, find a way to just uh, entangle things but uh, I after you know after I did the level I just realized that I was not really equipped to do uh, things like that was not linear so I think that you know it was pretty hard uh, for people to just find a good way to to do so but I, I really wanted to have like a couple of different branch that uh, all lead you to uh, the murderer but uh, I, I ended up uh, not having the time to finish the story, so I think it did not work um, as a plan. But I think it just just having like this um, this kind of story there helped me just uh, make a better level after that. So yeah, so I think we're going to uh, to see what I did on uh, the second week, and uh, I'll explain a little bit more about what I did there. We are back in the engine, and uh, so yeah, so here you can see um, my map. It's uh, way less intense uh, than the first one. <laughs> it's way more manageable. Uh, it's still pretty big, but uh, it was okay. You know, I think the only thing is that I don't have uh, I don't have enough things to do in uh, this level uh, to really uh, to really you know use all this space. So this is something that I could um, that I could. Um, that I could do better but yeah so I this is uh, what I did for um, for the second week and I did a little uh, I did a lot of different things so I did a uh, many blueprints for clues and for uh, pickable items and also story 
Um, other things that I did was just like, you know, a bunch of uh, little materials here and there. I got some, a couple of mesh that I tweaked uh, to help me just uh, add some life in there. And also, uh, something that I, that it was the first time that I used but really helped me is just like, made some, um, some mesh uh, blueprints or what in my head is called prefab because I, I've worked with uh, Unity in the past uh, uh, when I was working at Fruma. So this is something that really remember me of the uh, the prefabs. So you know, just doing like um, like groups of um, of mesh that I could put in blueprints and put everywhere to help me was really really helpful. So I think that this is something that I will keep uh, definitely for for other um, for other. Um, other assignments and um, I if if you guys don't really know how to do it it's super simple it's just uh, like you can have like a group like let's say I just have like those containers there I could just take all of them and uh, I could either group them and if I group them you know I can use them as a group as a group actor but if I really want to just put them somewhere and uh, I really use them uh, elsewhere. Something that I found was really cool is uh, to convert them to a blueprint class. So in there, you can just convert them to an actor and save it. And that's what I did there uh, to have these things here. So if I drag and drop this, you know, it's all in there and it's just kind of a prefab and it's really really interesting for me to work that way uh it's kind of building you know your own little kit but uh with just like uh, you know primitives and stuff like that so this was really really helpful because i've used groups in the other assignments and you know it's it's super interesting but uh yeah i think that uh, having those uh, little blueprints of uh, mesh was really time saving so yeah uh, did I did something interesting other than that? I don't think so. I, I integrated also some music as always because I love it and I think it really helped me. And I did a lot of different text <laughs> to help me uh, uh, have some things to, uh, to tell in my story. So yeah, so um, without further ado, I think we will just play this level and I will talk to, um, talk to you about uh, what, you know, what I did in this level and uh, I hope you will enjoy this. Alright, let's play! scientist. He was on Cape Alkali since a couple of weeks. There's not much else to say. The killer seems to have not leave evident traces. I'll bring the body to the clinic. Meet me there. Okay, done. Let's investigate. So you can see here I just put like uh, this uh, little mechanic of uh, just having some little cubes that you can just pick up and have some clues. Those rays of the murder weapon. Let's see what the doc can tell us after he had them seen. There's another one here. Guess if I say he was in Cape Alkali for the research. Maybe there are some samples over there. Let's find some. restricted access to this part of the mine. The scientist was conducting his recent research here. Take your time, boss. All his tools here. The foreman is waiting over there if you need to talk to him. Oh, the foreman. I think, you know, I tried to have like a little line of sights when I was talking to, uh, to people. I think it's not perfect, but it's way better than the other weeks. The scientist was always under surveillance for his own safety in the mine. Talk to Joe, he was in charge of taking care of the research team. He should be on the lower level. And you can see in the corner there, there you have the lower level. So let's see there. Let's go into the lower level. This place is way too big for uh, the gameplay that they put in there, but hey, we're learning here.
Francis is dead. I was not aware. I was not with him yesterday. He had to deal with something with his co-worker, the analyst. I guess you'll find her at the outpost near the tip. Okay, thanks, Joe. I think I had like a couple of great views you know, here. I think it's uh, it's really a, an interesting part. The, the interior of the mine, I think, is cool. I think this way, this is uh, way too dark and not super easy uh, to know that you need to go there. <laughs> so this is something I could, uh, I could I could do better. This is the cafeteria. I think I should have written it like on the wall or something. You had something cool. Menu today: a salted fish, salted grass mutton with potatoes and coal. Thank you, madam. I'm, I think I like the architecture that I did here. I think it could have been uh, even more interesting, but uh, I'm fine with that. I think it's cool. I like it. I think I should have given a little bit more room here. We're all about salt and why mining is the greatest job. Oh. Joe is such a dick. Did you see the menu for this week? I hope we get some salt. idea was that you know I could probably add some more uh, side story or just like a fun thing like maybe you can find a cat you know and something like that and uh, market hours can indicate you you know uh, maybe maybe in the game there is like a, a sunlight system and that you know you have a day daylight system and and you can only uh, go there uh, during I don't know during the the night hours or during the day hours it could be interesting and uh, also some advertisement to to see some uh, different thing. I think it's uh, it could be interesting. Just had some word story there. Let's go to the village. We can see here that the village is a little different, but I uh, kept the um, the electricity pole there to have something there. So I'm just going to uh, show you the this part of the village but I ended up not having the time to uh, work on this part but uh, the idea was that in this building would, uh, there would probably be the bar and maybe this would be a park and uh, so maybe you have like benches and people playing basketball I don't know something's uh, cool and interesting like that and uh, the idea was that you go there you go to the market but I just ended up closing this space because I didn't have the time to do uh, the dry land and the farmland so just closed it. You can also go on the border here, but it's so high that you can jump. It just close the space. It, the, I think in an interesting way. Or maybe you could have like a you know maybe you find this cat here and you you need to go put the cat in the in the apartment that uh, the owner has. A clinic. The clinic is purely functional right now, so you kind of just go there and you find the doctor. I think the murder weapon is a farm tool. Also, I found a piece of cloth in the room. It's on the table. I did not know him very much, but I often like to talk science with him at the bar. He seemed to spend a lot of time there. So this would be a cue to go to the bar, maybe. You know. Very cool, cloth. Let's ask around if people have seen it. Maybe the merchant will have a record of this. So I think this is a missed opportunity for me, and I think that I could have um, like NPCs, just like villagers, you know, uh, roaming there that you can just ask, oh, have you seen this cloth? You know, and they can say either yes or no. So that could be fun. You can see here that the tower is uh, like twice bigger, I think. So it's really more intense. Let's go to the outpost. Foreman told me this morning. Sad news. I left him at the tower. He needed to talk to the radio guy. I can run a scan of the sample for him. It will take at least a day. Okay. Shred the paper. Shred the paper. Oh. A previous sample report. Someone wanted this gun. Is the mine not safe? I think 
also this could be more interesting. You know, you get out and it's pretty bad. Let's get to the tower. It's gonna take a little while. It's a big tower. I think the outpost ended up being kinda cool. Just the tip of uh of Cape Alkali, I think it's cool. You can see that it's pretty daunting to just like walk in there and oh there's a block here I think there's some cool points of view there you can see the map and the idea would be that when you get to the top of the map you know you uh, oh, another bug. you can um, you can see the whole map and you can see like a you could see uh, there would be like a, you know, at, at the bottom there you have the tip and then you have the village and then you would have like the farmland and at the top there maybe you would have like the dry land and see the hermit cabin or something like that. So this would have been the idea there. Radio guy! Yes, I was with the scientist that morning. He asked me to send a message, but I need the officer approval. He's down there. I saw them argue near the container. You can find him at the Angal. this in English. Let's jump. It's a pretty high jump. somebody that looked oddly like the hermit hanging around. He was wearing a weird cloak. I think that probably here I should have placed a cloak as uh, they were talking about it. But this is something, you know, that uh, can always be better. The murder weapon, a farm tool, has said by the doctor. Maybe the farmer got it stolen. So that's pretty much it for this level. So I didn't have the time to put uh, more uh, story there. But uh, yeah, I think that all, all in all, it's it's not so bad. I think that uh, there are some interesting things and uh, some things definitely that I could improve. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it it was a uh, it was kind of fun to explore. Yeah. Yeah, so that was pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you can also see um, a video uh, of this gameplay without audio. Uh, it's on my our blog post in, on ArtStation and I'll also put the link uh, just down below so uh, if you want to see it, you can see it. Uh, but yeah, so things that I uh, that I think that uh, went well, some things that I think uh, I could improve and something I want to learn. Uh, but yeah, so all in all, I think um, uh, this, uh, this level was a pretty big challenge and uh it was it was really interesting to do and i'm kind of satisfied with what i've done but uh i wish i could have done uh i've could have uh, i've done more you know uh but yeah it was pretty big uh some things that i think uh work well was uh the gigantic like landmarks work well i think that the, the the tower is a good example of what i did uh good i think also the the little red cubes uh to pick up some clues were a cool and fun mechanic that i think i could have used more well, I think that uh, adding some um, some uh, cues for uh, where we could put story elements was uh, pretty interesting. I think just uh, having a blueprint actor prefab uh, to populate the space uh, was super helpful. Uh, something that I want to improve, I think I could have uh, used more of the red cubes, as I said, um, to add elements to the story. Also, uh, just more things to do, you know, really. Um, yeah, I think that... Um, there are too much spaces where there is just nothing to do and just no gameplay, so I think that's uh, that's a little uh, boring. I also think that, as I said, that the clinic could be more interesting because right now it's, uh, it's it's just functional. You know, you just go there to see the doctor. Um, I think it it could have been also fun to add some lines from the uh, the player uh, character. You know, just like uh, maybe you go uh, and you just like, oh, who's down there? And then you can you know trigger and uh, and see that there is somebody down there or something like that and um yeah i would have just liked to finish the map really <laughs> uh things that i want uh, to learn uh, in the in the in other projects 
uh, would be, um, yeah, I would love to learn how to make a better mission system. I think this is uh, something that I would uh, really uh, be super helpful. Uh, also, I think it would be uh, interesting uh, to do a mini map or something that um, had some uh, visual cue for uh, your objective. Um, also, uh, having some mo more lines to my dialogues would be fun. Just have like, maybe when you press E or something, you just skip and have another line of dialogues. That that would be uh, pretty interesting. And uh, maybe also uh, learning how to uh, do some placeholder uh, for cameras and potential cinematics. So yeah, this would be something uh, that I would like to learn. I don't think I will have time in uh, the next week, but uh, you know, it's something to learn in the future. So that this will be really uh, super interesting. So yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you talk about it, what you think. And uh, yeah, if you liked it, please uh, consider leaving a like, leave a comment or just uh, following the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in another video. See you. Bye.